We are celebrating Canada's farmers today and all the good things that they bring to our tables. Registered dietitian Shannon Crocker joins us as we raise our forks and today our spoons to them. Good morning. <laughs> good morning, Annette. So happy to be here with you today to celebrate Canada's agriculture. It's a day to celebrate all the amazing things that are happening in agriculture here in Canada. And like you said, raise a fork uh, to all the people who produce the food that we love. So to cut, kickstart the day off, I thought I would share this red lentil spicy soup made with Havarti cheese. And you can find the recipe for this delicious soup at canadianfoodfocus.org. Okay, and we'll put the website up a little bit later on our, uh, on our um, link as well. But Perfect. this one is really, really easy because you sent the video over yesterday and I was like, wow, this is so easy, even I could make this soup. <laughs> I'm intimidated uh, so, by soup. <laughs> you know what, this is a really easy soup to make. So you just start off by sauteing some onions, carrots, potatoes, and celery in some curry. And then you just let those veggies get a little bit soft. Pour in some chicken broth, some red lentils. And as you can see, there's tons of veggies in here. As a dietitian, I recommend that you fill half your plate with fruits and veggies at every meal. This is a delicious way to do that. Then you pour in three cups of Canadian milk. Now, when you're in the grocery store, you can look for the Blue Cow logo to ensure that you're getting 100% Canadian high quality milk and milk products. Mm -hmm. Because it used to be we always had all Canadian, but not anymore, right? Now you actually have to look for the label. Well, that's the best way to ensure that you're yeah. going to get that Canadian milk for sure. Okay, yeah. and and of course the, uh, the lentils that are in there, great source of fiber. Going to provide some fiber, the milk's going to provide some protein, calcium, vitamin D, the veggies and the lentils together will pro provide some fiber. So. The protein and the fiber in this soup really makes it satisfying for sure. It's, it's a whole meal unto itself. So once everything is, is kind of ready to go then, could you pour it out and use it like that? I noticed that you've pureed everything, but I mean, could you, if you don't have a blender, is, is this still a soup to make? Definitely. I actually really enjoy it not blended. So you have all the pieces of the veggies there. It's a really neat textured soup. Absolutely, you don't need a blender. If you want, you can puree it, and then it just takes a few minutes in the blender or with an immersion blender until it's creamy. And then I just actually like to top it off with this spicy um, jalapeno Havarti. That's a great Canadian cheese as well. And that just gives it an, an extra little bit of creaminess and a tiny kick of heat. And it's just the combination of flavors goes together so, so well. Right. And this is a great way, like soup is always a great way to kind of clear out your fridge of anything that you've got, right? So you can kind of add or, or take away whatever you have without having to go out and go shopping. Yeah, definitely. Soup is a great way to use up all sorts of different veggies. You know, for example, if you didn't have celery, you could have skipped it. You could have even added in some broccoli, for example, or some spinach. So mix and match and don't be afraid to experiment with all the amazing Canadian ingredients that we have um, that you've already got available in your fridge. Right. And we look at our pantries and we look at our fridges and, and we think, wow, we are so blessed in this country to have so many producers because it's not just the food, it's the eggs, it's the milk, it's butter, it's, it's our wines as well. And that's all celebrated with Canadian Agriculture Day. Right. It's about all of the people who not just farm, but produce the foods that we love here in Canada. So exactly like you said, it's, it's more than just, you know, I think people oftentimes will think about you know, vegetables, when they think about food produced in Canada, we produce a huge variety of foods here. And so that's why it's really great today to raise that fork to celebrate for Canada's Egg Day. Okay, there's a whole hashtag thing and we'll continue on with that today. So again, the recipe uh, we'll put up to our website at chch.com, we'll have the link. Great to see you today. I wish we could try the soup. <laughs> I wish you could try it too, Annette. It is so delicious. And like I said, it's so easy.